Okay, uh, the sweaty bastard on stage is me. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, it's surreal. It's very, hey, hey, how's it going in the back? Do you hear anything? It's okay. I have a guitar, a black guitar with many strings. And then I have cables. Um, it's, uh, it's the shop cable you can buy it afterwards. I can uh, sign it with my penis and you can send it on eBay for two euros. Yes. Uh, my name is Matthias Seklund, as uh, some of you know, how do I turn this off? Never mind, they can afford the battery. Uh, and I'm here, of course, uh, on behalf of Metal Guitar and Caparison Guitars. Uh, here's Gabriel with his uh, lovely beard and sorting out business. Uh, Gabriel is the man, if you need to talk about anything Caparison Guitars, uh, talk to him. I don't know anything except for that I love it, and uh, I've been playing it since before you were born. Uh, uh, my first Japanese visit was in 1996, and um, I went to a pub called the Richie Blackmore Pub, uh, which uh, was so small, it was about the tenth the size of this shop. You had to pull it over your head to get in. <laughs> so, um, and this uh, journalist who was really upset that I wasn't endorsed by anything, and so, oh, how can it be? You can sweep pick so good, you can... You're so good and you don't get guitars for free. No, 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 I have to sell my, my cat and dog and my mom to, to buy a cheap uh, Ibanez guitar, whatever. So the next day, uh, Italo Kanu, who is the chief designer, which you should say, and the mastermind of these lovely guitars, stood in the lobby of my Shibuya Ku hotel. And he said, uh, we like your playing and hope you like uh, a few guitars, and at the time, um, this was really surreal for me to get something for free. You know, uh, if I broke an E string, I would have, I have to go into town and buy an E string. Now I can swim in strings in my <laughs> studio. I don't want any more strings. I get strings from Dior. Oh, we'll send them anyway. No, no, no. No, I have too many strings. We'll send them anyway. They're on the way. <laughs> Fucking hell. So I'll just send them to some African country. <laughs> so uh, it's all good. But I fell in love with uh, uh, the Horus was my first guitar. Uh, something like that. But maybe dark purple-ish kind of. Uh, had a similar look. Is that a horse? Yes. And it had 27 frets that you could actually play. Look! Oh, fuck it. I don't like that sound better. Okay. Um, a lot of guitars has a lot of frets, but it's just for, for show, pretty much. With this one you can actually uh, play it. And I think the year, or two years after that, uh, do you know when the Aurora came out, the first one? Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, no, maybe a couple of years after. I had a couple of custom-made guitars. The apple horn one, and two and three, with lovely apple horn drawings. I call it the apple horn for no reason at all. People ask, oh, why Matthias didn't call it an apple horn? I say, why not? Uh, it, it's like a stupid saying to grab the bull by its horns, or bite the sour apples. You take the sour apple by its horns. And I remember one time in, in Tokyo, Ikubukuro, the Tokyo Musical Instrument Fair, it was 2000, 2001. Okay, very good. That's where we announced the first signature model. And uh, I was in this, this room with 500 really dedicated Japanese guitar players. And they asked, the uh, translator, of course, you know, why do you call it the apple horn? And uh, I try to explain to grab the sour apple by its horns. And they don't really have those sayings in Japan. So everybody, oh, Matya, they got a little cuckoo in the head. <laughs> Uh, but they, they, uh, um, they, they think it was okay anyway. So, and after that we had the Apple Horn Sandstone, and the Apple Horn Orange, and the Apple Horn HTS, with a slightly longer neck, I think, and then we had the uh, Apple Horn Jazz, which is with the fixed bridge, and the Apple Horn Yellow, and the many, many, many Apple Horns. And uh, I love these guitars, uh, and you probably know that. I'm also a loyal guy, I don't like to jump from one thing to the other. Before uh, Gabriel and his company bought Caparison Guitars when they had a little <laughs> issues in Japan, um, it, it didn't exist for, for, for some time. And all these, you know, oh, I guess, uh, Jackson, even Vigier, they said, oh, we would like to work with you. I said, I'll, I'll just wait and I'll talk to Itaro, what's going on. And then one day he said, oh, range guitars in Cardiff Wales, but Caparison Guitars, good. I said, great, you know. Uh, 
because I believe that nobody looks good with a brown lipstick, as I like to put it, uh, because all these players, they, they want stuff, they want stuff all the time, and, oh, I'll sign here, of course, give me 10 more guitars that I can sell on eBay and buy a new car. And uh, I always thought it was really, really stupid. It's actually the same with Laney amplifications as well. Uh, also a British company, I've been using it since 96, and just because nobody knew who Matsidas Eklund was at the time, um, but they were cool enough, just as comparison, to say, you know, hey, we like your playing, have a new amp. This never happens nowadays. You know, <laughs> try to get an endorsement dealer. How many YouTube hits do you have? <laughs> two, and there's two thumbs down. <laughs> and guitar, you know. uh, so um, it was slightly easier when I started out. And, and uh, I'm an old fart, I'm 45 years old, and I've been doing this since, uh, since I was 19. That would be 27 years, which is a cool thing. 27 years? No, okay, never mind. Bad with math. I can do lots of but I can't count. Um, um, never mind. So, and uh, I'm just a happy camper. And this is the latest one, and it's, um, I adore this guitar. It's the, actually the only the one guitar that I care about. Uh, and I don't mean to sound arrogant, but I don't give a shit about guitars because I have Kanosan and Gabriel and also Anders Tidell in Sweden taking care of the true temperament fret. And I have a guitar tech, so I don't need to know anything. People ask, what kind of wood is it? You know, what's the top? And the, uh, it's uh, the, the black uh, wood. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and, uh, and uh, every time, I think just for being nice, Itaro says, oh, Matthias, what kind of blah, blah, blah preferences would you like to have now? And I said, I don't know, can you make a yellow guitar? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I may remember one time when he used to do all the pickups. Uh, he sent me a box of pickups and actually believed that I would put them into the guitar, you know? It would take me a year to install a microphone. So I grabbed one and said, okay, this one is good. And then I adjust. Do I need more or less uh, distortion? Uh, I'm not interested in gear at all. I'm interested in playing and making music. I have a volume pedal so you can do parrot traffic. Fucking merda! So, uh, and it's, it's very simple. And uh, then I have installed today a delay pedal. Yes. Dramatic, eh? The sound continues when I stop playing. <laughs> okay, it's a delay pedal. So, um, and that's it. Uh, and this is my big rig. Usually I don't use the delay pedal at all. Um, but this guitar, and thanks to Gabriel, is, uh, I wanted to try out a little bit of 8-string, and was given an 8-string guitar by another company. And uh, I said, we really want to work with you. Blah, blah, blah. I said, uh, listen, Gabriel, uh, we Capricorn do not have 8-string guitars, so which company would you prefer that I work with? To, because I don't want to change company. I don't want to deal... And uh, Gabriel's cool now said, fuck it, we'll build one for you. Uh, uh, at great expense and not much pain for Kano-san. He writes me an email every week almost like, oh, Matthias, how is condition of neck? Because I have a Floyd Rose here. And there's enormous tension on the neck if you have this. Um, but uh, he is a genius. And I think this is one of the very few uh, eight string guitars, except for my dirt, I should have cleaned it, but fuck it, rock and roll is messy. Uh, that is very well balanced from a, um, you know, um, look kind of point of view. A lot of guitars have a very beefy neck, a tiny little body. Uh, you know, this one has a big body that really matches it. But um, if you're super short, you know, it's, it's, it's a heavy beast. Um, but I like this guitar, and uh, you were really cool to say, well, we'll just do it. And now, it created a lot of internet buzz and everything. And, uh, and this is the best guitar I've ever played. And it's no bullshit, and I don't say this because I get free guitars, I get money for it. I <laughs> like it. Uh, I love it, actually. So, um, and this is the only guitar I actually take out of the tour bus as well, every night. Then go into a hotel and put on the next, uh, your bed next to me, and good night, Apple, no great guitar, and so on. Uh, I tune it uh, low to high, I have an E string, and then I have an A string, and then I have an E string, and then I have an A string. So meaning I have octave every second string. So. Now the 15 
what app does not really match my evil looks, but you know, <laughs> you know. Um, but this is um, this is really really cool, and it's got true temperament frets. Uh, you see, the frets are not straight. Um, uh, you have a new model coming out called the Brocken uh, it's FX. Yeah, it's, it's out. It's slightly uh, slightly cheaper uh, with a fixed bridge with straight frets because uh, this is a painful thing to actually make. Uh, it takes a lot of time, and it gave the Swedish guys of True Temperament a great deal of headache and probably <laughs> nose bleed and hemorrhoids as well, uh, <laughs> and herpes and whatnot, uh, because they had to start all over and measure every new little damn point, uh, you know, from scratch, because it's a 27-inch scale length. Yes, I know. I've read up. Okay, uh, but this is great because it's in perfect tune uh, all the place. string guitars, FX, I hope you're not one of them, they buy it because they listen to Mishuga or Jan 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 <laughs> They use one or two strings, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know. Um, but this, this guitar is like a chamber orchestra in one. You have so much potential and because you have, uh, it took me two days to figure out how I wanted to tune it. Uh, but this is great because I play a lot of Indian music. So you have the drone of doom. Um, which is cool because you can just... Now with the... Whatever. Uh, create some Indian sound and it's cool. And I also use the overtone series, as you know, all the wee horse sounds and all that shit. Um, the natural, somebody's calling, do 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 do, it's your mom, run out of here. <laughs> so, oh, uh, man, uh, 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 oh, where is it? I want to see my penis. <laughs> yeah, okay. um, um, you know, all these, uh, all the overtones. And for the first time in history, the, the notes are, uh, well, the neck notes are the correct ones. Uh, because usually I used to have a lot of dissonance <laughs> before the true temperament friend. G-string's 15th fret, and then I fret the lowest uh, fret, and usually you have notes, not notes, going woof, 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 you know, really, really nasty dis That was cool, how did you do that? <laughs> um, um, but not anymore, so these are very far away. So if I do this... strings and it's black and it's really good and uh, uh, what else is there anything we should say it's out there you can get it we I signed a couple in Japan in December uh, we were there uh, I'll play some music for you uh, for some reason I always like to start with I never plan anything but I always need to start with a specific song so I know what I have to work with the surroundings if you stage dive it's you know take it easy because we have mess with the cables Jesus it's full in here has it ever been as many people in this shop at once okay sometimes Saturday morning okay. I'd like to okay all right so I'll just try this song in the goo of the evening it's from a record called freak freak guitar the smorgasbord and uh, it's got a simple melody. Uh, when I write music, I always try to look for my own moustache, as you know. Uh, I need to make it sound like Matthias uh, Eklund. Uh, and very often, I help myself out with the harmonics. At first, it was like, yeah, I got the... Have this riff on it. It's a nice melody. They're taking the shop apart. Junkies in. 
So, um, uh, but then I just got, yeah, okay, I'll play the melody just with the overtones. So. so I hit the first note on the G string, 7th fret, and I play the, the rest of the melody on the high E string, and I let them collide. And by creating these dissonances, I got the Matidas the Eklund sound. You may think it sounds like merde, caca, pipi, and so on. But it's my moustache. You have to figure out your own moustache, okay? Uh, I actually like the... And depending on how you hit and how you phrase, you get a different sound all the time, you know? So I never know. The rest is improvisation, and it may turn into complete shit, but it's okay. Uh, I may have to steal your iPhone 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9, and... You know this now, okay? Yes. It's no bullshit. It's the it's the shit actually. Um, and I don't have anything else to say about this. An apple with horns and an ace and beautiful and so on. 
Um, but you have to, to judge for yourself the, uh, the playing. Uh, I adore Indian music, South Indian music, and uh, I always have to do this at each clinic, although it's very painful uh, for you, not for me. I know this shit, but for you it's upsetting, and I like it. You know this stuff as well. Yes. Um, uh, I go to India as much as I can, and Nepal, and play, and of course you will shit your pants because of bacteria and everything. It's included in the price, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, our beloved Christer Utefosh, uh, with his helmet and his tattoos, and mean looking kind of look, is the father of three and a fourth kid on the way and everything. So he's a nice guy, but he looks like a mass murderer. Uh, he, uh, he, he's mostly a vegetarian nowadays, I'm a vegetarian, and India is paradise. But I remember one time when we checked out the Taj Mahal or some minar or whatever, and he just started to sweat like crazy, like me now. Uh, and I said, hey, dude, it's coming. So, what is coming? <laughs> I'm going to shit my fucking pants. I'm going to do cut my pants. Said, what? Uh, so, uh, so I asked, hey, my friend uh, needs um, the restroom, uh, the toilet. Uh, do you know where it is? I guess, I, I think if you walk maybe 25 minutes that direction, <laughs> try that direction maybe. And he was ah, and he found some place with a hole in the ground and sprayed the wall. <laughs> and there was no toilet paper, there were two like shells in the very bad movie Demolition Man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like that in India. So try to wipe your sore ass with your bad ass. Why am I talking about this? It's got nothing to do with your person. <laughs> anyway, it happens in India. You will become like a sore baboon in your buttocks <laughs> because of all the. Uh, sorry, I got to hear this. Protect your nephew. Where is he? Oh, there you go. But apart from that, uh, it's such a rich musical uh, culture. Um, and a lot of people, when you speak about Indian music, they, they uh, and I travel around India and talk about Indian music, which is really weird for Indian kids to say, what? Because when I talk about classical Indian music, uh, to them they go, no, 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 this is grandfather and grandmother stuff. We don't want to hear that. We want to sleep not, or whatever. We want to go to fucking, or Hellfest, or whatever. But they have so much stuff in their own music, you just have to transform it into metal, if you wish. Um, the cool thing is that by using a few simple phrases uh, in a rhythm language called conical, uh, you get an insane wide picture of rhythmic understanding. Uh, didn't it help? Has it helped you or did yeah, it just fuck you up? And, yeah. uh, for, for playing music and uh, for yeah. composition, too. Yes, yeah. so really a lot. It's yeah. wonderful for me. If you just try out, and I will show you some more guitar playing and incorporate this, but uh, if you're a drummer and you do like a big drum thing, dun, tka, dun, tka, dun, dun, tka, the one, the one in Conical is called da. Say da, 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 da. And you can say ta, it doesn't really matter, you know, the Indians don't give a shit. Everybody <laughs> says it's differently, it's not like it's written down, it's just, you know, uh, word of mouth and so on. So da is one, dun, da, zoom, 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 da, okay? Uh, two is taka. Taka, 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 taka. Okay, three is takite, takite. Try it. Takite, yes. So if you want to do triplets, you go takite, 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 ta. Or if you want to do sixteenth notes divided in three, that's takite, 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 ta. Okay. Four is taka ti. Me, takatimi, takatimi, try it. Pear is takatimi, come on, give it to me, takatimi. Uh, if you have a longer groove, you don't say takatimi, 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 ta. Repetition is very necessary in music. Uh, if you just say takatimi, you can't really create a groove. If you keep on going, takatimi, 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 you can do. But if you do like the Indians do, you say takatimi, takachuna, takachuna, takachuna. <laughs> Imagine someone walk, walk in here now, maybe a junkie, and say, what are they doing? This is scary shit. They have to close down that metal guitar kind of shop. So you have a group. Um, and this is great. You're just doing 4-4. Um, uh, four, four. Uh, but you have a groove. And there's a reason it sounds the way it does. If you do this in German, for instance, it's whole plan. I'm five, 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 five. <laughs> it's spit and drool in Swedish. It's not good. I say it in French. <laughs> not really groovy. <laughs> I love France. We've got phones and all that. But uh, uh, it's, it is a reason it sounds the way it does. Uh, 
Um, and you can do this. You can divide it in anything. You got the freaky draw camp. We did it in triplets. We did takatimi, takachuna, 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 um, and then you have five. Ooh, not five. You don't like five in Paris? Yes. Tatikinadun. 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 Try Tatikinadun. So either you do, you're into Frank Zappa, and you like quintuplets. Instead of doing takite, 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 you can do five over a beat. Tatikinadun. 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 Ah, that's a quintuplet. You can also do five sixteenth. Four times, which means you clap your hand five times. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Show us some sweet picking. We're Enter Sandman. We like Enter Sandman. And you play Enter Sandman <laughs> on your right string guitar. Yeah, okay. So, so but Tatikinaton doesn't have to be five. You can do. That's a six, so you clap three times. Or you do, oh bloody hell, that was the new Caparis on eight string guitar. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Just a Stratocaster, it's only shit anyway. Completely <laughs> out of tune and not reliable. Okay, never mind. Uh, uh, sorry. So you go, that's seven sixteen, um, and of course you can combine anything. You're in a you're in a uh, dream theater tribute band, and you decided to write a song of your own, and you made it uh, in eleven, and you try to uh, explain to your friends. Yeah, it goes to eleven, you know. This one goes to eleven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And for fuck's sake, like, put the symbol on one because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> if you do India style, uh, you just go. Takatimi takachuna, that's eight plus three. Takita. For instance, you can combine it in anything you like. And therefore you create a group. Takatimi takachuna takita takatimi takachuna takita takatimi takachuna takita takatimi takachuna takita da. After four times you will always end up on the beat. Takatimi takachuna takatimi takachuna takita takatimi takachuna takita takatimi takachuna takita da. Okay? Easy peasy. You can divide it in anything you like. Of course. Um, you can do takete 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 taka takete 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 taka same same value. You can do nine. You can do taka timi tati ke na to one two three four tati ke taka timi tati ke na to 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 da. Or you can do takete 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 da. Same thing. And this helps a lot because all of a sudden you may write a song in what's going on out there. Um, 49 16th notes, and it's hopeless if you don't know to do this, you know. Uh, we have lots of songs that you can apply it to. Maybe if you want to do a song in 25 16th, 25 16th, are you mad? It's easy, people dance to 25 16th in uh, India. So you go, Takatimi Takachuna, that's 16, Takatimi Tatikinatun, Takatimi Takachuna, Takatimi Takachuna, Takatimi Tatikinatun, okay, 25 16. Piece of cake. What? <laughs> um, it really helps. Da, taka, takite, taka timi, taka chuna, tatikena don. You can do super advanced stuff with just this, okay? So don't ignore it. Don't go, okay, I have this saying, uh, vive la France, vive la France, vive la France, and these <laughs> triplets or whatever. It's not the same thing. Um, you will do much better. And also, when it comes to tonality, the Indians, yes, it's mighty warm. <laughs> you have a thick shirt. Okay, good. I want you all to look like me after a while. Um, but this is really, really lovely stuff. And I sit uh, as often as I can in Chennai and clap hands with kids, uh, just doing all kinds of really mad things. And they don't care if I know Steve I or Mushuka. They don't give a shit if I have a signature guitar. Oh, it's really good. Uh, uh, you, I just try to follow. I'm like, oh, God.